Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I'm gonna show you um, like a, a, fi a finding that I found today. It's uh, basically related to freestyle, freestyle and grease pencil. So I saw this works by Yadoop. Uh, I think this is a kind of like work in progress. He called it grease pencil tool, but he said add-on is not available yet. And I'm kind of, kind of curious what is he's trying to do. Basically, I think he tried to kind of creating um, a way to convert 3D mesh into grease pencil. And that way you have more control over um, how the 3D mesh is going to be re represented when it's turned into um, freestyle grease pencil. But basically I found out that um, <clears throat> there is a add-on by Falkert Dev. Um, there is one called Freestyle to SVG, which is actually comes with Blender. So you, if you look into user preferences, there is one render freestyle into SVG. So freestyle is Blender um, special renderer that's dealing with the uh, outline of an object. So if you render, for example, you render this uh, cube, it will render as uh, uh, with a f outline if you turn on this freestyle. You will see the uh, you will see the result in a in a bit later. I I, I want to talk about this first. Freestyles to grease pencil exporter, and I mean I'm really interested with this because freestyle has particular uh, ways to generate outline, and I'm always interested with the the outline of 3D mesh. And since we are if we are able to convert freestyle into grease pencil, we can actually convert grease pencil into mesh using Spreadshop, which is a kind of interesting uh, workflow. I think I found maybe we can actually generate a interesting mesh based on the outline of objects. So I don't know it yet, uh, but I'll show you the, the whole process. So basically, <clears throat> just like Spreadshop add-on, you go to the GitHub and find this Falkert Dev Freestyle G-Pencil exporter and just clone and download it. Download the zip. Um, this guy is not actually an add-on yet. It's more like a um, Python script. So I'll show you real quick. <clears throat> I'm, I, I'm gonna create a text editor here. I'm gonna drop the, the script here. <clears throat> so freestyle to grease pencil uh, Python code. Just put it in here. So this is probably like a work in progress by Falkert Dev. Um, I know that if I turn on freestyle and render it now, it might actually crash. I need to have um, at least one grease pencil data block. So I'll save this real quick just in case. So this is spare chalk, uh, grease pencil and freestyle. Um, so we have a cube here and I'll, I'll actually, this is the script, I will run it run the script and then suddenly here you will see freestyle to grease pencil option which is uh, really cool I'll turn on freestyle and turn on this freestyle to grease pencil so I'm gonna draw a grease pencil like I said it will work um, if we have a grease pencil data block so currently I'm drawing it but I'm seeing seeing nothing Okay, there you go. There's, it's actually the grease pencil stroke is in the 3D space, that's why. Anyway, let's render out this uh, box. First of all, I will, if we render it as it is, we will see we have a freestyle render, which is this is really nice uh, stroke thing. And if we come back to this guy, we should be able to see the stroke. Aha, uh -huh. see, see the, the stroke is being generated, but the thing is, this thing will work through the camera. Freestyle will render the strokes through, through the camera, so we need to go inside the camera. Okay, now it should work better, nicely. Um, we have the original random strokes that I made, GP layer, I'm just gonna delete it. Now we have this uh, FS line set, freestyle set, cool. We have the grease pencil ready for us. This grease pencil data we can bring into Spare Chalk and do something a little bit more later. 
So currently I will lock the camera. Now we can kind of try again. Kind of framing the 3D objects once again and then Shift Z actually give you a quick um, jump into the this uh, what do you call it like a real time rendering mode mode and I will Shift Z again and now we are back and then you see the stroke is being generated almost on the fly. It's a uh, the process is uh, currently you need to always render the uh, hit the render button and then it will do the calculations and freestyle will do its job and do the calculations and you will end up with a strokes right just like a, the render result if I render see uh, more or like uh, more or less it's just like the the final result here but we are worried about uh, the grease pencil more which is this guy right here it's actually being generated as 3d objects being projected so it's more like two and a half D you see the stroke is not being generated for all the objects it's just from the camera if I'm using like a uh, Suzanne the monkey head here I'll render again now Suzanne will be rendered you see but if we go back to 3d view we also get a grease pencil which is pretty nice pretty cool uh, I will so I will show you what we can do next. Since we have the grease pencil being generated, we can bring it into SketchUp. So it's that simple. And we're gonna use the objects ID selector. Grab the grease pencil data. I don't know how many um, curve objects being generated, um, how many grease pencil objects being generated. But basically, we can quickly check it out using viewer draw. You see the vertices is it's, uh, it's fairly clean actually we don't need to do resampling but we can see there's like 61 grease pencil strokes keep that in mind and we can turn it into um, curve objects simply by plugging it in, into polyline viewer you see right away you get um, this really nice curve and they're like multiple curve because we we, we specify it we need to specify it in the nodes by default it's creating multiple so we can turn it into a single object so now uh, we really have only a single um, strokes based on a grease pencil uh, which is actually originated from freestyle render so yeah this is actually um, the basics idea currently it's a uh, Seems to be a little bit slow, but maybe it's my computer, but I think we can work with it. So this is just like a normal uh, grease pencil. You can use bevel and do other things, even turn it into spline. You can control the stroke thickness. Uh, let's go back to the camera. I think so there are two methods to work on this you can actually render out like sequence of SVG if you have like animations and then based from the SVG you bring it back into blender and then do the resampling using sphere chalk and to generate mesh the second method is to do it on the fly frame by frame like in this case see I'm now we, we have we end up with this uh, Suzanne and the strokes if I hide the grease pencil we have Suzanne and we also have the stroke which is actually still like a life um, if I change if I rotate uh, Suzanne for example rotate it slightly oops not that guy Suzanne I'm gonna rotate it real quick like that and scale it a little bit and I'm gonna hit render Oh, it's actually gonna carry the the mesh from Sphereshock as well, which is um, which is can be interesting, but not in this case. I don't want the Sphereshock uh, stroke objects. Now let's wait a little bit. I think it's already being generated. Escape. Um, I'll show you. So it carries the 
stretch of generated objects. Um, in this case, I don't want that. I will turn off the render. I will render Suzanne once again from this angle. So we're just gonna get Suzanne strokes like this, like the you see the grease pencil, black color. And if I turn on, if I update Sphere Chalk, we should get the new mesh being generated. You see? Very cool. And you can randomize the radius, for example. Let's plug this guy in. Yeah, something like that. You you got the idea. Um, it's almost like a real time um, strokes that's actually being converted into mesh. Um, a little bit like um, Maya Maya owns like a cartoony. Um, what do they call it? Like a sketch. Uh, I don't know. I forget what it's called. It's tune. I think it's tune shader. Maya Maya tune shader. This is actually on the fly. Um, the only thing is that we need to always do the render button and then it will update the freestyle data, grease pencil, and then SketchUp will update it. Maybe it will improve in the future. I don't know it yet. So this is just the basic. Maybe I will continue with this in the, in the next live noting, but I guess give this a try and then let me know if you have any ideas how you want to use this uh, um, freestyles grease pencil and spray chalk uh, combo so yeah let me know uh, thanks again for tuning in i'll see you in the next video thank you